family? Where my mama at? I'm like, hell, I am your mama. Raising children is tough, but what happens if those kids turn against you when they get older? Sorry, I, I'm not trying to cause no problem. And law enforcement has to step in. I refuse to give her money. She got mad at me. That is a lie. Today, we'll look at the body cam footage from four cases when the police had to save parents from their own children. Family vacations are meant to strengthen bonds and create happy memories. However, in the state of Florida, on March 13, 2024, Groveland police responded to a domestic altercation when a son took drastic steps to show his frustration toward his mother and brother. I'm not resisting. I am not resisting. I'm not. I, I didn't have my hands, Mama. I'm not resisting. Stand me up, please. I'm not resisting. You're on my neck. You, you, you're on my chest. Please. Please, I didn't do anything. Move. Mama, please help. I didn't do anything to them. I just wanted you. Mommy is me. Ow! Ow! Come on. What the f did I do to you, bro? Ow, your arm. Just let me go. You don't have my arm. You don't have anything, bro. That's my Stop. What did I do? Hop in the back. Ow, my f***ing collarbone, dude. I can sit here myself. Then let me sit up. Step up. Let me sit up. This is why you're in handcuffs, because you don't listen. Step up. Hey, you don't what the f is your badge number, dude? Well, I'm, I'm calm. What is your badge number? Sensing the mother's distress, the officer first helped her calm down. Once she felt at ease, she shared a detailed account of the altercation and her reason for calling the police. What's going on? Hey, what's up? How are you doing? How you doing, man? Good to see you again. Hey, a long time ago. I know. Uh, uh, the lady came into the uh, office and then... You want to sit down? Uh, I suffer from panic attacks really bad. Okay. And he's... I took my kids Here, to Disney. Come, come talk to me. I just got back from Disney. Come on. So right now? I know it's going to sound hard. Just listen. Deep breaths through your nose for a few seconds. Slow, deep breaths. Hold it. Out slow. I know it's hard. For, try and force yourself. He's going to go. He, he's just talking to him, okay? So, deep breath. Where'd you go out of Disney? I, I bought a season passes. Okay. And I was bringing all the kids down to Disney for awesome. spring break. He's my oldest. He's 20. Okay. He's made this trip absolutely miserable. Okay. He does have anxiety, and he has a medical card. Okay. But no, I we're not worried about no, George no, no, right no, now. No, we're worried I, about what's going on here. All he's done is complain and tell me that he hopes I... I hope they get a car crash and all this other crap. I was trying to get home tonight. I have night lines. Me and my son, me and my youngest son, were in a very bad car accident in Tallahassee in September. Sorry to hear that. And I thought I could drive home, but I couldn't. And so I had to pull over. And then he got in the driver's, and he would not. I kept panicking. I had to get out of the car. He would not. He was bound determined to keep going. Oh Finally, we made him get out off here where I don't even know where I'm at and he took us to this the circle K that's down there down and he whipped it in okay. and he was like like he stopped so hard that it looked like we were about to hit the tree okay. made my son go into a panic attack he walked off he was not he said he, that he was leaving and find his own way home we get here I go and I try to reserve a room the yeah. credit card is within my mom's name they won't let me I try to use the ATMs or ATMs down. I get in the car and I tell him that this trip has been absolutely miserable because of him. And he puts his, he's like, you, and goes like this. Well, my son has had enough. On your face? Yeah, like right here. Okay. My son has had enough. So he turned around and said, don't 
touched my mom, and so they started fighting, and I, I just, I can't take it anymore. While listening to her account, the officer noted the suspect's aggressive behavior to better plan their approach. For now, their priority was ensuring the safety of the mother and children. Oh my nerves are sh I've got, i got my 17-year-old, my 15-year-old, and my 12-year-old. Okay. So they're going back and forth with my 12-year-old in the middle, and I was afraid that he was going to hit. That's why, while they were doing that, I afraid that it was going to actually hit my child. That's why I was like, call the cops. I'm done. I can't do it anymore. Okay. With, uh, with him and your son getting into altercation, what, what happened? He was there? protecting me. He okay. was tired of him, the way he was talking to when me. When he put his hand on you? Well, he didn't put his hand on me. He just... He reached around and did like this, but it touched my hand, and okay. so, or not my hand, but my neck. Okay. And so, of course, my other son, you better quit. I've had enough. Yeah. Okay. This is my shy, quiet kid that doesn't ever do anything, and he finally yeah. stuck up for me. Um, Minoso, if you want to talk to her, sorry, this officer Minoso is gonna be his case. He's gonna, he's gonna. Worry. I'm gonna try and talk to your son and calm him down a little bit, okay? What's his name? Meanwhile, the son claimed to be a victim of his mother's favoritism toward his younger siblings. Though police explained his situation, he chose to argue, prompting a reprimand from the officer. I need to breathe. My chest hurts so much. Okay. You need EMS? Oh, I see my hand and my chest is on. Where is it at? It's in my mom's purse, I think. Okay. You want an ambulance? Oh, man, I'm good. Okay. My neck hurts from when that dude was me in the back of my neck. That was me. I was holding your holding your back. That's hurting, dude. You put like okay. right here in the damn middle. Okay. That's man, you okay. don't gotta. I wasn't resisting. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was putting my damn back in the car. Y'all could pulling, clearly see that from an officer counts as resistance. Well, y'all pulled up and ran up on me. I, I'm I'm not trying to get aggressive. I'm I'm just trying to catch my breath. What okay. I'm saying is y'all pulled up if, on if me, you, running up you, on me. So I was like, okay. Stop talking and take some deep breaths. You probably catch your breath. Okay, can I talk though? Are y'all gonna listen to me? Y'all just wanna shut me out. We're probably we're probably gonna listen to you. I'm not working the case. It's gonna right. be Officer Minoso. He'll come and talk to you afterwards. Alright, all right. But more than likely you're gonna be under arrest for resisting. What? Are you serious, dude? I was putting my bag in the car. I was No, no, yes, sir, I am very serious. That is crazy. What the f We get called here for a reason. You're walking away from an officer trying to get into a vehicle I, and he grabs you, you pull away from him. That's can, okay, can I can I can I explain to you, please? I, I want like, I'm, I'm not talking to you because I feel safe with I'm you. I'm not the person to explain it to. It's not my decision. Okay, but okay, but can I at least explain some of you so I feel safe yeah, from, no. from my personal? Do you want you want me to check for your inhaler? Or are you good? I'm all right now. Okay. But what I want to talk to you about is look, man. From my from my standpoint, I threw the keys before I even pulled up. You can ask my mom. Ask her what I gave my mama the keys. I threw them at the bottom of the thing. And I was going in the car to see if I had anything else in the car, my phone or anything in the car. And so whenever I did that, I had it, so I put my bag in the car once I saw y'all coming, because I didn't want to have anything on me. I just wanted to go and, and let y'all do y'all thing. I, I swear, that's what I, I mean, I've never been in the law before, though. So I, I, I'm not trying to cause no problem. This is my, my, we're on a trip to Disney, bro. Yeah, no, I just, so, mom told I mean, me. This is, this I just is, came from Disney. I, it's just crazy. Yeah. I'm not trying to show no problems. I'm not, you know, trying to be no... It's a little late for that. Despite police reprimands, the suspect remained defiant. The officer, however, stood firm, reiterating that when law enforcement intervenes, cooperation is expected. Well, that's not the whole thing. I was putting my bag in the car, and then the dude, the, whatever his name is, the blacker cop, the darker cop, came up and grabbed me, and as I, I already put my bag in the car, so I was going to let him get me. But yeah, then that's, that's when y'all threw me to the... And that's when I started going so, crazy because I didn't know what was happening. So I was, I was looking, okay, I saw you walk into the car. We're called here because of family fighting. We're not going to let someone get into a car, reach into a car to grab some unknown object. We don't know I, what yes you're sir, doing. Yes, sir, I completely okay. understand. Ne so he yes, grabbed so you, about at that, which I point you started understand. to pull and started to yell and cuss, and that is con constitutes resisting. Yes, sir, I completely understand. Okay. But from my point of view, I, I just did I, I've never had somebody grab me like that, so I didn't know how to react. I, Okay. I don't. I don't. Do. He, didn't, he didn't grab you hard. I can tell you that. I've seen him use force if needed. I know. Yes, sir. But he grabbed, for, for he me, grabbed, I'm not used to grabbed, anyone touching me like that. So I, I don't. Okay. I, well, and plus I have really, I have really bad anxiety. Unfortunately, you're shit, more man. likely going to be under arrest tonight for resisting without, and I don't know anything else. I, like I said, Officer Minos is going to be the one working the case. He's still going to figure out the rest. Okay. All right. Can I can I at least talk to my mom? Can you try to see if my mom can come over here? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll ask. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Later, police checked on the mother still visibly distressed over her son's behavior. She shared her struggles as a single parent, and the officers sympathized, hoping her son would recognize his mistakes.
either. Right now, I don't have a hotel room for me and my kids in the But you want them to just come check you out and make sure you're alright? Yeah, I'm fine. You're I'm fine? just okay. my anxiety. I just I've got to be able to take my medicine. Like I said, I can't drive on it, so I'm trying to find a hotel so I can take my medicine. So. There's a couple more, like, rooms this week up in Claremont, okay? Where's that? So. I don't, I'm tired of him cussing me out. I'm okay. tired of him telling me. If my kids told me that, I'd like, be, I wouldn't be talking to him. Like, I'm trying so hard to make this such a good vacation, and it's just going to hell. I'm a single mom. I've been a single mom since day one for 20 years. Yeah. Is this the, is this the end of your guys' trip? Yeah. You were supposed to check out the hotel room tomorrow and go home, but I, I miss my bed, and I've got four dogs at the house. And yeah. I, I, my emotional support dog is at the house yeah. that I really need to get home to. What kind of dog? She's a, a Chihuahua Terrier mix. Okay. And I wanted to bring her, but my mom was like, no. Because if we got in a wreck, then, you know, it, it yeah. could hurt her and stuff. But. So, I'm going to ask you, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm going to ask you. just talking. So... At what point did your son take off the head seat and threaten you to hurt this one? So at what point did he end up, because he said, your son said he took off the head seat and was going to threaten to you with the head seat. Well, um, yeah. 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 yeah, man, what's up? Let me turn off the lights, man. Let's get my people. Yeah, I got you. I'm going to have him leave his back lights on so no one comes in the rear end, okay? Finally, the son came to his senses and cooperated with the police. His time in detention, along with the officer's advice, helped him grasp the gravity of his actions. His mother later received assistance, bringing some relief after the day's harrowing events. But I got these two. All right, man, I got to take some pictures of you because when we took you down, I'm going to do some extra paperwork on that, okay? So just step on out. All right, face me. Turn to the side. We got you. Come here and then you keep on going to the yes, car sir. and putting stuff in there. I don't know what's yes, inside the car, I, man. You got I, I know. In, I, was, I wasn't in the thing. Okay. Right now. I've never been um, anything like that. We're so. going to get in because we got to move our car so this gentleman can get to his hotel room. Okay, so yes, if you want to hop back in, we're going to pull back up. I got you. We're going to go just watch your stuff, all right, man? Yes, sir. I'm going to move you over to this truck right over here, okay? You seem to be here every time I come here for some type of call. It's always me, go and go. <laughs> you were here last time when that girl was in here. All the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. It's oh. always me. I'm jinxed. Right. You, you don't need to worry about anything on the bottom. I, 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 I know, I know. All right, so I, I, I do that. All right, if you know the pro, oh, perfect. Can, can I address the fact? How do we? Okay. Yeah, no, it's on top. It's pretty ring. Yeah. I, I found the hotel if you want me to give you the address, okay? We can, if you want to call ahead to and see if they got some, uh, some availability before you drive over that way. Is this your phone? That's his. Okay, perfect. All right, I'm gonna grab his phone. Do you have, does he have a wallet? Um, does he have anything you don't want in the car that belongs to him? I, I mean, he's... that's his his bag. I mean, all his stuff is in here. Like, okay, all right, all the clothes and stuff does not. Yeah, there's no. I know you said he had his medical card or no, something that, like that. That's he said that's his wax that he gets from the dispensary. Okay, as I long as he's got his. Is it just wax or is there other stuff in it? I I don't know. I'm, I'm Where is not, it at? In that in bag. Here? Yeah, I, the, I so don't this know. So this is what he was worried about putting in the car when Johnson was coming out. After collecting her son's belongings, police informed the mother about the process and the severe penalties for his actions. His family, especially his mother, was left in shock by the news. We'll check and make sure it's just his medical... Understandable. You're gonna have to find someone else because he's 20 years old. So, so how how it works? The being domestic because you guys are family. You reside together. You're family by blood. There's gonna be a no bond set as foot. He goes up there, meaning he won't be able to get out tonight till he sees a judge tomorrow. When the judge releases him, there's normally a no contact order put in place, meaning he's not allowed to be around. Usually. 500 feet with you. He's not allowed to communicate with you. Have third party communication or any sort of like tell. Hey, Grandma, can you tell Mom this? That it. We, but we so let me, let me, let me explain. I know it's a lot, and so basically, with that, mm -hmm. he gets arrested again, puts back in jail on no bond status, and it's another charge added to the the domestic. So, I, I I know. So let me let me finish finish the explanation. The judge determines what is the no on the no contact order. He could say, Hey, we're not going to do all this. Or he could determine everything. It's all up to the judge. 
So, do you have enough money for a lawyer? Well, sorry. Does he have enough money for a lawyer? Because he's an adult. Work. Huh? He only does DoorDash. So, who more likely, uh, more than likely, qualify for a public defender? And so, with that, he'll need to contact his public defender and see what can happen with the no contact order and getting it lifted. So that's that's because go about it the right way. Don't go about it the wrong way. Because God forbid, let's say you guys say I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna still talk with them, and you're in the car and get pulled over and you're all together. He's gonna get arrested. It will show up. Um, and also for his court cases, he may not have to come back every time, but it's gonna be in Lake County unless the the public defender can get it relocated up to Tallahassee. But it's more likely going to be done in Lake County because that's where the incident occurred. The police understood the mother's anxiety after hearing the news. She asked many questions, which they patiently answered to ease her mind, assuring her of her loved one's safety in custody. So if he has to come to court, it's probably going to be at the courthouse in Tavares, Lake County. I know it's a lot. We all live with my mom. I I understand, and so this has nothing to do with us. We have to follow this. This is the procedure. The no bond schedule for domestic is every time. That, that's, that's done. The, the no contact order, that's determined by the judge. We have no control over that. Can I do this? Yes, ma'am. Would my brother be allowed to get him? Or yeah, yeah. He, no? yeah. No, no, no. It, it's only, only the victim, so it would be you and him. So your brother could get him and, and do that, okay? No, he has, like I said, he has asthma. What's going on? So the jail? Can I give you an inhaler and breathing machine or anything? Does it have his name on the medication? Yes, it does. No, because okay. the box is at the house. Oh, so no, but the jail has <laughs> nurses there 24-7 as well. So they have it nurses on staff. It does take a while. Just so, you just so, so they have they have medication and stuff on hand, and if anything arises, Waterman and Hospital is right across the street. So okay, if it doesn't so have his name on the medication, we can't take it. how long he's going to be staying? At least overnight. But if there's no contact, then how would he be able to contact yeah, me to, to tell me that he's out? Your he won't be able to. Pearson, and then you could put, well, he gets you know, back too. With a tea. Yeah, he'll get all his property back. No, yes, ma'am. Will this phone be charged? No. Yeah, I can't say if it'll be charged or not. It depends on if it's off or how charged it is. At the jail, they'll let him take numbers out of the phone. So when he gets processed after his fingerprints are in, He'll be able to make phone calls he from there. He probably doesn't even know our phone numbers. So they'll let him use his phone to write the phone numbers down. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I would highly recommend him not call you guys, which also Minosa will tell him, because if he does, that's all a jail-recorded phone call. And like he said, it's going to be another charge. So. Yeah. It may not be immediately, but if the judge issues the no victim contact, and again, the judge, I've seen it. Rarely happen, but the judge will make the no victim contact where like he, he can still communicate with family. The suspect was taken into custody by the Lake County Sheriff's Office and charged with two counts for his offenses. No further updates on his case were released to the public. What do you think led to the son's behavior toward his family? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Parents usually have full trust in their children, but what if their own child was deceiving them and taking advantage? In Florida, on May 6, 2022, Flagler County deputies stopped a woman named Allison as she attempted to defraud her own mother. Hey, can Allison come on out? Hey, um... Yeah, I was just on the phone with my mom. They weren't supposed to charge the, um... I got, I don't want the uh, they weren't supposed to charge the room. It was supposed to pull the room. It says on the app. Like, I just talked to my mom about that. What, for her visa? Yeah. Like, I didn't even know her visa was on there. So, I wanted to talk to you last week, before all this. About what? About, you're actually, I'll tell you what. Because I want to talk to you about it, I'm going to read you your rights because of the nature of what I'm asking you about. It doesn't mean I'm placing you under arrest right now, but because I'm asking you about it, i got to read you your rights. Uh, is there anybody else inside right now, by the way? No, I, just, I didn't have my keys, so I didn't okay. want the door to shut. Uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be as evidence against you. You have the right to talk to an attorney, have him or her with you now or any time during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you. If any time you wish to stop talking to me or have an attorney present, all questioning will be stopped at your request. Do you understand these rights? these rights of mind are you willing to talk to me the reason I wanted to talk to you last week was about the charges on her target card from the weekend um, what? from last weekend I was called she had charges on her card didn't know who it was um, but they were over the weekend 
they were over the weekend and they were at Target with a Target card. So that was the initial reason that I was called. Do you have any clue about the charges on her card? No, she, she said something about her. Um, I got to look at my text messages, but uh, no, I don't have her Target card. Though shocked by the deputy's presence, she continued her manipulative attempts, hoping they'd believe her half-baked excuses. However, the deputies held the upper hand and kept pressing her for the truth. No, it sounds like you borrowed a car on like a Thursday yeah. and you brought it back on, what was it, Sunday? Uh, Monday morning. Monday morning. Yeah. So that same time that you picked up her car and brought the car back, it was the same time that the credit card was, same window that the credit card was used within. So I could totally see a scenario where when you go to pick up the car, yeah. Grab a card, no, I definitely use it for the weekend, bring it back. Because right. no. there's going to be footage of whoever used the card at the store. Okay. I, um, I understand that. And then that, we just so happen to have you using her card here. No, I used the Choice Hotel account to hold the room because they were going to book up. They're not supposed to charge anything. It's, it says on it no prepayment or anything like that. So you don't have her Visa card with you? No. Would you be willing to show that like your wallet or your purse doesn't have yeah. any of her credit cards in yeah. there? Even when confronted with evidence, she remained unfazed, continuing her deception. Recognizing her cunning, the deputy asked pointed questions to trap her in her own web of deceit. Why is it that you had mom's ID with your stuff? Oh, that was, uh, that's, it's an expired one. When I had to do her, like, I used to basically do the internal system. So I used to do all of her payments, everything for her. And I just this is like it. expired two years ago, though. Yeah, that's when I used to work for it. I still have mine, too. All right. Okay. And why not just have your own choice account? Why not? Like, why still use it with hers? Uh, to try and get free nights. Hey, so we need to verify when I gave you my ID, I gave you my ID, my card, correct? Do you guys have it saved, like, on file what ID and what card was given initially? Yeah, the first time you pay it on um, we have credit card and the report two six two Mastercard. That was on April twenty seventh. And is there still money owed right now or is she all paid? Well with this credit card is uh it's fair. brother in charge before tonight tomorrow. Okay, so last night's all covered. The last night is covered. Okay. We have until eleven to leave. And what card was last night? I paid cash, right? I paid cash yesterday? No. Oh, no, no, I did no, that on... Um, another credit card last night. That was on... Um, no, that was hotels.com. I did yeah. that through. Yeah. Because it, it, it was a cheaper rate. Yeah. I don't know what credit card was, it, but it's not... What? When they paid to the third party, we had no information. That wasn't her card. card. It was... Yeah. It was paid with a, a Speedia Visual card. Speedia Master does, card. It, does it show how much it is? Yeah. She paid... Uh, according to this, this that she paid eighty dollars. I don't know okay. because uh, it's paid a charge extra. Yeah. Was, was there any like two hundred dollar charges on there? Two hundred forty ish. Uh, for tonight, for this morning, yeah. Okay. Two hundred. That was the. All right. And that. Oh, that's my cat. Uh, cat is that through the app, through like a website, or through an application, oh, or is that? Make a reservation. On choice. Despite confirmation from the hotel staff, she casually denied the allegations, sticking to her story. Crafty as she was, deputies secured additional evidence from her mother's statement. Yeah, she made a reservation with choice, central reservation choice, and she paid with a credit card belonging to Palm Coast Sport Medicine. Yeah, and you see that ended up being my mom's card. And this is the lady who called me and said that, that somebody stole her credit card from her. So. Do you have the receipts for any of the ones you paid for on your like from the website emails or anything like that? Um, yeah, yeah. I was trying to find out because my Dave card's not in there. The Mastercard he was talking about is not in there. The first one. Yeah, you, you, you well, said mine. the last four. The Mastercard was. Yeah, he is still right now. Mm. I'm gonna print the information <clears throat> right now. Of the credit card that she used now. Right, that's okay. the one that went on my mom. So here's. Um, Give me one second. Hi there. Um, I was just wondering. So, one second. The uh, the charges today. It seemed like they were done through a choice app. Is there an app that you all have shared together in the past? 
So you've never had the Choice app for hotels and you never put your card in any kind of Choice app. And this one is a new card, the last one you canceled. Okay. No, they would have to, you would have to input the number again. Like if, if you get your card replaced and you have a membership, they would ask you to put in the new numbers. So how recent is the card that was charged today? Yeah, how new is that card? Okay. And not only in a month and a half, but you've never used the Choice app and you've never put your card on there. Okay. I'm not really tech savvy, I'll be honest with you, but because um, I just had so many fraudulent charges over the time. Have you ever given her permission to have your ID? My ID? No. Your Florida driver's license, even an, an old expired one that expired in 2020? Uh, no. No. <laughs> Okay, she said that she she had one, and she said it was because she used to help you take care of certain like bills or something like that. She she worked in my office, but I had to stop down because she was writing checks and stuff. But you never part of that process of working for you. She was never supposed to have your ID. No. Okay. All right. I have a feeling she's gonna be coming with us in a little bit. Uh, we're at the front. Okay, is my granddaughter there? There's no other people here in the room. She was in room 102, and there's no one else in there right now. Allison's mother's concern for her granddaughter's welfare resonated with the deputy. Her statement confirmed his suspicions and revealed Allison's crafty attempts to deceive them. Okay, let me ask her about that first. Of course, yeah. All right, let me talk to her really quick. I'll, ha I'll have some more news for you in a little bit. Was there supposed to be somebody else staying in the room with you? My daughter. Is she okay now? Where is she at now? Um, my brother-in-law passed away on Friday. And Sorry so to hear that. She, um, she's at my sister-in-law's house. Okay. Um, so. The Choice app mm -hmm. that you said you all shared. Mm -hmm. Okay, your mom said she's never been part of a Choice app or never used a Choice she app. She is. She uses the, the Wyndham and the Choice and the Hilton. Okay. She said that she's had to cancel her card because her card kept ending up on those accounts. And the card that's on there now... Um, she just replaced as recently as a month and a half ago, which means in the last month and a half, her card would have had to have been manually entered back in there to be used, which she did not do. I mean, let's tell you, I just booked it on there, and I was trying to get it paid. Like, I wasn't trying to have them do it. They, it's just, it's a, it would have made sense if she did, you both had shared access with the app. Mm -hmm. She yeah. says she's never needed that app, never used that app, and her card would have never been put on there with her permission because she doesn't use it. So we're at a point where I get what you're saying. It was on the app, but it's not an app she's a part of in any way, except for the fact that her credit card mm -hmm. ended up on there. For real, between you and I, are you going to be on the target for the Jews in the card? No. I, I, we were just talking about that before you walked in. I'm like... It's going to be clear for you because they have three cameras I understand there. that. I know that. I know how Target works. I mean, they've got uh, like a screen in front of you when you're doing it. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be as forthcoming as possible with you guys. Like, I have paid I for every it, single night that just I've not, been here. The info I'm not checking out. She also said that you weren't supposed to have her ID and that there was no reason in the past for you to have it. Feeling cornered, she played the victim. Shifting blame, a typical fraudster's tactic. Unaware, she was facing deputies who saw through her deceit, making her lies a foolhardy choice. That is a lie. What was it? What was the reason again that you had it? Because I have done everything for her. What does that mean? I don't understand. I paid all of her bills. I've been her basic personal assistant up until last year. Yeah, she said that it was when you worked at Sports Medicine. Yes. She said that she had to let you go because you were writing checks from the company's yes, checks. Yes, I did write checks. All right, we have a pattern here, you know what I'm saying? Yes, this I is understand that. An and I'm, and pattern I'm, of I'm you using other people's yes. stuff without their permission. And I don't see why you would, if you guys work together at Sports Medicine, I just don't see why you would need her ID in your possession, nonetheless, two years later. I, I, I just, I mean, I kind of keep every single card. <laughs> um, we should do 27 with the business. Um... So they are going to have you. Do you still want to go with the trespass? Yes. All right. I haven't done the paperwork yet. They are going to have you trespass here. Uh, I just got to file the paperwork. It's not a criminal charge. It's a, it's a warning saying you, you can't come back here. Mm -hmm. um, all right. There's a lot of things pointing against you that still make sense. Yeah, so I've got to A, right. make a phone call. He's got to fill out paperwork. Mm -hmm. For now, I am going to put you in cuffs. It doesn't mean you're going to jail. I want to make a phone call. My supervisor talked about this. But for now, I need to set these things down real quick, okay? Do you have anything sharp on you that's going to quote me or stick me? Anybody else in your room now? No. 
It was my daughter, I know. I was at work, I came I came back the evening. I was I know I know. I do apologize for all this. Really quickly, I just gotta fill this pocket in front of you. Is you got nothing in here? No. Okay. Alright, you can go ahead and sit down. I'll get the AC blast in here. If you want the window cracked, just let me know. Unfortunately for Allison, her attempts to scheme her way out fell flat, leading to her arrest. After a quick consultation with his supervisor, the deputy could now close the case against her. She's not doing too good. Explain to this. Hey, Corp, I just want to run this by you. Um, make sure you're good with me I'm doing 1015 instead of forwarding charges here. Um, last, I don't think you were in this day, last Tuesday or Monday we had a lady call in. A couple charges at Target on her card, unapproved. Her daughter has a history of taking her card, so she kind of had a feeling it might have been her. Uh, but Target couldn't provide the footage yet. The time frame that she let her daughter come by her house and borrow her car matched the exact time frame that the card was used. It was like a three-day period. She came by the house, borrowed her car. Um, her purse and charge her purse and credit cards were not in the car, but she would have had access to the house. Um, would have had access to the cards. So that was last weekend. I just did an initial report on it, forwarded it. Then today, she calls back in. Says that um, Target described the female on the footage to her, matched the description of her daughter. Of course, they're not going to show that with us until we get a subpoena, but um, she also has new charges on her card for a condo lodge. So we come over here, and it's the daughter, of course. She's at the hotel. Just tried to use her mom's credit card without her permission. Uh, adult, by the way. Um, she gave excuses. None of them checked out. She said she had her mom's permission. She also had her mom's ID in her purse. Uh, asked her mom if she knew about that. Her, her mother said, no, she should not have my ID. Uh, no, I've never put my credit card on any hotels. And it's just obvious that she's using her mom's credit cards, at least at the hotel. We haven't proven Target yet, of course. She did not admit to using them at Target. Um, her only excuse for the hotel was that it was an accident. So, you said who? The daughter said it was an accident, that the card wasn't supposed to be used. It was an automatic thing through the app. And I knew the mom said she's never part of the app. She's never used the app. She shouldn't be on the app. And her card, her credit card, which she just replaced a month and a half ago for the same issues with her daughter, uh, is also on the app, which should not be. The daughter made it seem like they shared this app. The mom's like, I've never used that. I don't use hotels. I don't have any kind of apps or my card should not be on any hotel apps. Or... So she's kind of like caught red-handed here at the hotel. Uh, plus with the ID, the possession of the ID, that alone would be its own charge. So she said this has been going on for years and she's just, it's about time she draws the line. So she does want to press charges. All right, sounds good. I just talked to my supervisor, and you are going to be going today, okay? I'm going to be straightforward about that. That's that's what we got to do. Allison was taken to the Flagler County Jail. Evidence, including target security footage, led to charges for fraudulent use of her mother's credit card and possession of her mother's expired ID. Additionally, she was banned from Econo Lodge. Let's keep things moving and check out the body cam footage of our next unruly suspect. Disagreements between children and their parents are a part of life, but when children go to extremes to prove a point or express their long-held resentment, it doesn't sit well in the eyes of the law. On July 4, 2024 in Florida, Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputies intervened in such a case, rescuing a mother from her daughter's heartless actions. Very, 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 very,
What happened? I remember. You remember? Okay, so why are we here? Because she called. Okay, well, there seems to have been a problem. Okay, so you tell me the problem. She called. You tell me the problem. Is that, is that how you want this to go? Or you, you want to, like, be an adult and tell me the wires and all the wires? I've been around? up for 23 years. This left me there. What do you want to talk about? Bless you where? Well, you wanted your brother being 23 years, so you told me. Okay. You asked her why. I already asked her why, why we're here. Okay. Told me. And you asked her why she left me there. Left you where? I just told you. No, you said she, she left you somewhere. You didn't say where. Oh, we no. She left me in an apartment right above her. She didn't have to be out of here. Okay. How old okay. are you? Well, I'm sorry. I was 29 when I met her. It's too late. It's not your story. You were an adult. Talk about later. She doesn't think so. Why doesn't she think you're an adult? Because she wants me off my antipsychotic. She wants me off everything. That doesn't work like that. As they listened to her account, the deputies noted her disjointed thoughts and incoherence, signs that she needed urgent mental health intervention. However, their priority was to secure the safety of both parties. She made me mental. And now I live in prison. So you because I have no, absolutely no desire to talk to you. Don't like cops, don't want to be around them, so I'm done. How's that? Um, well, not so good. Uh, so, we've already been told that she is the oldest patient. I guess she said that she, she, she didn't want to be the car. Or you didn't want to me with a boot. She had a boot. boot. The runner boot? Yeah. She threw it. So if she wants to interrupt, she's still going to talk to her. Well, she already told me her side. I'm just trying to get your side. I don't have a side. You don't have a side? And he looks all about 20. For the deputies, de-escalation was key to a peaceful resolution, but the complexities of the situation required physical intervention to control a potentially volatile individual. So... Hmm. You want to come out here or you want us to bring you out? No, I'm not this going anywhere. Place. Oh, okay. Thanks for doing that way. Let's Don't go. make any more trouble. Let's just go inside. For what? Come on. Stand up. Stand up. She wants us out now. Just throw it in. Just go outside real quick, please. Huh? Wait outside, please. I'm not going anywhere. I didn't do anything. Stand up, come the easy way, or it will not be fun. Okay, so the person that calls is the person you You got three to? seconds. You got three seconds. Just Stand come up. outside. Come on. Just let's go talk outside. We don't have to do this here. Let's go outside and talk. Okay? We do that? No. I'm going to count to three. Okay. One, two, okay. Come on. I'm not going. Anywhere. Let's go. Ow! Stop resisting. Stop me. Ow! Ow! Let's go. I got it. I need my shoes. Well, get your shoes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't no, fight. No. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Are you gonna walk? I'll get your shoes. No, you won't. Do I have to carry you like a toddler? Stop. I'm not touching. Don't touch me. Let's go. You already me. I did? Yeah. What are you making up? Jail. Okay. You see what you did? You need medication. They have medication jail. No, they don't. Put your shoes on. Okay. He wouldn't give them to Grab me. Grab her shoes, please. At first, she appeared calm and cooperative, seemingly aware of why the deputies were there. However, her behavior soon turned erratic, complicating their efforts to secure her for transport. Oh, you. Hey, hello. Can you? Hey. She's really nice. She's fine. I know. 
Hey, come on, sit up. You're resisting against me. I know you're awake. Leave me alone. Okay, I need you to turn around. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You're not sitting properly. Okay. Come on. Bring your leg out. We're gonna fix you in the chair. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. You ready? Come no! on. Come on. Put your leg on the ground. Come on. We gotta fix you. Come on. Come on. Step up. Turn around. Sit down. Sit in there. Come on. Let's go. Despite the challenges, the deputies' resolve prevailed as they maintained their patience and professionalism while encouraging her cooperation. Can you sit in back in the chair? Come on. Grab the Come on. How you in. Get in the car. Do not. You will get another charge. You understand me? Get in your. Get in the car. Come on. Step in and get in the car. Sit normally. Sit back. No, we're not doing that. Can you behave? Get this off! Lean back. Face away from me. No. Sit normally. No. Gotta have you sitting back for your own safety. Okay? No. No safety. He took me to a hospital. Get are you going to lean back? I am leaning back. What are you leaning back? It's okay, hon. It's all right. It's okay. He me. Both of them. Both of them. No problem. Yeah, no problem. I'm listening to you. That's it. We got to fix the seatbelt on her anyway. It's behind her back. Yeah. So you trying to fix it. I need a picture of you. I just got back. That's because right, you don't know how to put a Seatbelt yeah, on. It was on in front of you. Can you just lean yeah. back? Lean back. Whatever. Ow! Right, I'll go this way. Lean forward. When dealing with antagonistic individuals, a level headed approach is essential, as direct confrontation would only heighten hostility. The deputies knew they had to stay composed to take control. Oh, well, you did take it off. I didn't take it off. I got handcuffs on. Oh, please stay in the car. There you go. Me. Well, you gotta leave the seatbelt on the way it's supposed you to be. You didn't put it on right. Camera, it should have was. Sorry, do you want a picture of her standing up? No. No, okay. No. All right. Ow! Ow! Ow. You you can't. You're standing here. Yeah, Don't go nowhere. He's pulling me. All right, just stay right he there. He me in my foot. Right. He me in my chest. Okay, we'll get right it up. It's fine. Good. No, you're not gonna just. Right. I'll take a seat, okay? All right, have a seat. Take a seat. Get the AC going real cold. So you drag me out for what? You need what? to get back. Hon, you need to get back in the car. Come on. Lift your legs up. Come on. Lift your legs up. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Can you lean back for me, please? I gotta put the seatbelt on. No, oh, not that way. Keep touching me. We're trying to put your seatbelt on. Stop. If you lean back, I can't fit around you. I can't. I got handcuffs on. All right, well, you gotta lean back so you can put the seatbelt on. I oh, can't. Yeah, no. mm -hmm. right. yeah, lean back for me. Lean back. Ow! Lean back. Pick your arms up and lean back. We gotta see. We gotta buckle you in. Come on. Get back. Get. You. Me. Literally buckling, buckling you in. No. You. Lean back. There you go. Ow! Seatbelt's on. Her ramblings continued throughout the medical examination, yet the police remained attentive, addressing her needs despite her contentious behavior. Take her to jail. Yep. Put her out of here. Me. Why would she say? Keep trying to put her head against It's her. cool. Do you see me sweating? Was she No, she's throwing her throat against she's her. She's throwing her throat against her. She's not throwing her throat against her. It's cool. We gotta go, though. You ready? So, we'll put the AC on real cold in the car. Come on, let's go. Come on. Exactly. Why am I here? Yeah, you might have to clear for jail. So, we're going to go to jail. Shoot, sure, no one saw me. Okay. Right. No one. Come on, I'll argue right here. We can talk around the car, though. No, I don't want a doctor. Come on. Here, they talk to the doctor. Ow! Come on. Three, two, one. Get your flip-flops. Why don't you throw the 
looking at me again. I'm not medically clear. Yeah, you. Get your hands off the me. We have to hold it and make sure you don't fall. Really? Oh, that hurt. You told that. So you're prolonging everything now. Can we pull it, pull it back in so it's back on the track? You can't even do that. Waste the time. Huh? Come on. Stop! Walk. I can't breathe. What do you mean you can't breathe? You're yelling. You're breathing fine. Really? That's how it works. Okay. So I'm not having a panic attack. Okay. I got mark it. Hang on. All righty. Go ahead and have a seat. Can you loosen these? Yeah, why don't you sit in the car? They're, they're, they're loose, man. No, they're not! I will sit in the car. She was taken into custody at the Palm Beach County Jail, where she faced two charges, including resisting officers during her arrest. No further updates on her case were released to the public. If you're enjoying this video, like and subscribe to stay updated. Now, let's dive into our next quarrelsome case. One of the hardest things for a parent is dealing with a troubled child, especially if that child is no longer a kid. On March 3, 2023, a Florida mother called the Eustace police, hoping they could help with her rebellious son. But as events unfolded, even the officers faced unexpected challenges. See how their intervention escalated. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know my son on that. Molly, I just got back Okay. Come on, he's got to leave here. I can't. I rent from this woman. You know, he literally broke my. Oh, look! I was going there. Look, he told me, "I'm a. Where my mama at? I am your mama." Yeah. Where's he at? He in the house. He literally broke. Oh man. Okay. The top of it. Look. Okay. He got to leave. I was. I can't keep going through this every night. You're to your victim. But I, he temporarily stayed here, he'd be back and forth, but you can't just damage that one stuff like that. I'm dang, I'm scared for myself. He's gonna try to me. But what is my mama holding my mama? Who's like that? That's crazy, man. I, I rent. This is not my stuff. He literally broke that woman's stove. This is crazy, man. Oh. Don't try to see what I me. Y'all ready to push me? I had stitches one time. I let that go. I didn't report that. I'm not gonna stay here like this. I, I can't. What's up, Harold? I was just wrapping the stuff. Come on, why do you gotta do that? Harold, Harold, come outside. I'm free to come outside. Come on, man. You don't gotta do that, man. Huh? Harold, go out there. No, no, let him in. What you talking about? Let him in for what? Let him in for what? No, I'm gonna come out. I ain't calling you no. Hey, Harold. I ain't do nothing yet. Come outside. Hold on, sir. Surprised by his mother's actions, Harold became angry, venting his frustration at the officers. Despite his outbursts, the officers stayed composed by focusing on their duties and ignoring his outburst. Stop, put that down. Stop. Harold. Hold on. Hold on. Harold. Hey. Harold. Hey. Stop. 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 Get on the ground. Get on the ground. On the ground. Get on the ground, Harold. What I did. What's Other hand, 42 uses her little detained. What's I came in my house for? What I did? Because your mom let us in. What she let y'all in for? Stay right there. What did he put in? Okay. Where did it go? What goes? What was in your hand? What? What is putting in my hand, man? There was something that she be. Be lighting up in here, man. There wasn't nothing in my hand. There were gloves. There wasn't nothing in my hand. There's a. Oh my God. A scale I'm so on tired, man. Y'all right just can't take me to jail for this. Like, for no reason. Y'all be running in my house, and I'll call y'all. I'll be telling y'all she be messing with me. No one pressing charges on her first. So, no, you cannot take me to jail. I didn't do nothing. This is my house. Don't treat me like that. I just not got out of jail. Do not treat me like that. Is it in there? This is my house. This is my house. I don't have nothing on me. At all. Can you stay away from that table? Ma That's stuff that she has. Ma'am, ma can you just wait outside for us? Yeah, I want to, I can, I can just hide. Oh, hell. Can you just wait outside for us? You be always calling me. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Y'all want to call somebody for nothing. 
for nothing. It ain't nothing going on at all. All they want to call somebody. Ain't nothing going on. He was a notably chatty suspect, displaying confusion about the police presence. His incoherence suggested that long-term contraband use had impacted his mental state. They told him, I don't got nothing on me. But you don't touch my Please do not me. I'm telling you, I'm a fresh artist. Do not me. Well, I just right, told you I ain't do nothing. Up. I don't got nothing on me. You're not finna see my Stand up. That's what you're not gonna do now. Now you can let me out these hands because if I ain't do nothing. I'm gonna pull your pants up for you. I'm finna pull it out myself. You don't gotta touch me. Please do not touch okay. me. You just tried to me. You just tried to me now. Stop. Stop. You just tried to me. I just told you I don't got nothing in my pocket. I'm not gonna let you me. That's just my ID card. That's just my ID card, sir. Because I always call y'all and tell y'all she be messing with me. Stop. I just told you. Calm down. Hey, I'm calm right, down. Right. I called y'all. How y'all gonna get mad at me when I called y'all? Really? For her stuff that's on the Shut table? Up. Really? Come on, she like that up every day. Nobody don't talk when she talk, dog. I'm just trying to protect my family. I called y'all. How you gonna take me to jail? How you gonna take me to jail because I called y'all? How you gonna take me to jail because I called y'all? What? You see what? What that happened? ain't nothing. What you see what? That's our stove. That's what she no, got. No, I'm talking about the stove. What happened to the stove? Ooh, the stove bro. Why did you carry me out of my house like this? <laughs> Why did you carry me out of my house like this? What did you doing? Let me sit down in my house. What are you doing? Let's what are you doing? Let's ain't nothing going on. I ain't going nowhere. What are they doing? I'm not hey, doing Robo. She ain't press hard on me. None of that stuff is not mine. This what are you talking about? Y'all just come to people's house. Me. Come on now. Stop it. Talking about drugs. You ain't no drugs in here. How you gonna tell us my stuff? Just, can All you right. just stay out of the house until Come we get back? No, I ain't gonna just do nothing. I don't care. I ain't do nothing. You gonna press charges on me? Robo. Let's come on, you gonna press charges on me? Okay, just stay you, don't you, go in the house. Come on now. You know I ain't do nothing, man. I ain't do nothing. Okay then. They just can't take. I ain't going to jail. I think it's a. When I called y'all, I can't go to jail. When I called y'all. When I called y'all, I got one. I'll grab it. I called y'all. So how I'm, how I'm gonna go to jail? How I'm gonna go to jail when I called y'all? His tense behavior and claims of innocence revealed a disconnect from reality. In his mind, he was the one seeking help against his ruthless mother. Still, the officers proceeded with his detention. Oh, do you got a bag? Oh, yeah. just that. grab a bag and test it. And, uh, how I'm gonna go to jail when I called y'all? If nothing else, we got thirty-one. Fifty. Are you, Fifty. Are you able to clear? Or, uh, Bianchi. I'm going to go to jail when I call y'all. What are y'all doing? You get your hands off of me, please. How are you going to take me to jail when I call y'all? You just can't do that in my own home? You didn't call her. Yes, I did call y'all. I don't want to the report. Your mom called? What report? I don't want that did the report. What report? That When I called y'all. When did you call she ain't, us? She ain't press charge on me. How y'all going to take me? No, you can't take me to jail for that. When did you call us? No, I didn't do nothing. I just not called y'all. I told y'all she was snapping on me. How you just uh, gonna try to do something like that? For she, she, no, she is not. She is not press charged on me. I ain't trouble with nothing. What did you talk about? So don't try to act like she press charge on me, please. Grab a not bag. try to act like she press charge on me. I don't care. You can search me all day. You gonna search me? You gonna search me? Is there something in? No, it ain't nothing in my. You ain't gonna go in my. I'm not definitely. You definitely not gonna do that. Why you got your hands up on me like I'm arrested? You are arrested. No, I'm not. You're going to jail. No, I'm not. For what? I didn't do nothing. For a possession. For possession of what? We're, we're about possession to of what? We're about to test it. Possession. Test it for what? Possession, tampering. Tampering with what? Because you grabbed it and you're running your room. Resisting. I didn't grab Resisting. nothing. Resisting. You ain't seen me resist nothing. That's why you have to be held at this point. I know I'm going to beat that. Okay. I know I'm going to beat that. I know I'm going to beat that. I know I'm going to beat that. You know I don't got nothing on me, sir. So can you please stop trying to search my ass? You know I don't got nothing on me. So please stop, stop trying to search my ass. Stop. You just took my money from out my pocket. You just not took my money from out my pocket. Yeah. No. With their talkative suspect secured, the officers continued their investigation, confirming suspicions of contraband use. They bagged and tagged the evidence gathered for their case against him. You just not said you steady searching me. Stop. I'm trying to hold my pants. Let me hold my up. Harold, knock it off. Man, that's me, bro. That's not me, bro. I don't want that's that. don't me, bro. That's not me. All that dumb Y'all just can't arrest me when I call y'all. What did you want my pants? I just told you I don't got nothing. Sure. Let me pull okay. up my 
Can you see? I'm flat too. Put your feet in. Oh, okay. Put, put my feet in. Put foot. your feet in. Put your feet in. Put my feet in flat. Stop. Move your foot. I was gonna collect all that before she tries to do it. Here, let me see the bag. Do what? Oh, that's fine. I'm in the house. Come to the back. Later, Harold's mother recounted his troubled past and her struggles to help him improve. The officer sensed her pain, disappointment, and fear. Based on the evidence, he knew her son was likely facing a long time in jail. Hello, how's it going? Hey, all right. This has been an ongoing thing, man. I've been calling y'all, calling y'all. This this, just took the cape. Right. I went to go get my sister took her. I just left Waterman. Mm -hmm. Me and my daughter and her girlfriend, because she spun her ankle at the uh, at the beach. I went to get my sister took it out that he did. Right. But I, I let that slide. It just got out of hand. My son need help now. Yeah. And then he's going to try to sit there and run and talk about that was my stuff. I just got from the hospital. Look at this. Right. It's just, it's been your a son said it was your him. stuff? That's what he told the people. Uh, that's what he's told the officers? Yeah. <laughs> when I walked in the door, what scared me because I came in. He had the music loud all day when I got off of work. Right. I let it go. I kept cutting it out. He kept cutting it up, cutting it down. I said, okay, I'm going to let him calm down. And he's going to try to tell me, what not a mama home? What happened at? You ain't my mama? Right there and there? Oh, wait right. a minute. So, how much illegal stuff is inside the house? I don't even know. I, I, you know, you I've know. been at the house, what, I've been at work all day. What room is his? He don't have a room. He sleeps on the couch. He sleeps on the couch? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start taking pictures. I mean, it's his house, sir. We can That's what I've collected. What, he had like a rag in his hand. What was that? Uh, yeah, where's that? I thought it was in his pants. Is it in his pants? I don't know. You searched them. I didn't I find the band. I don't see it. No, we're, I have the very number for stoppers on the phone trying to get to signal 14. Is this his right? I've been at work all day when I, I got a uh, witness. My daughter will tell you. Uh, so my daughter stopped up. I believe you. I still got my work uniform on. I don't know where that bandana went. It's on his pants. While detained, he continued blaming his mother and family for his misfortunes. Despite being called out for his behavior by officers and family, he stayed defiant and boastful. Um, so take him out searching again. Yeah. No, no, we just say screw it and I take him to jail. Take him to jail and uh, I don't want to get him out to try something. You know? I don't want to repeat of uh... What's that? Who's that? Who oh, looking stupid, name? man? I just want to no, we don't need any of that. We don't need any of that. Don't on that. Okay. Hey, Police on me. Oh. Who do something for you around here? Look oh, how you act, bro. I'll be telling you when I be chilling, bro. You know, chilling when I be chilling. Hair, that's your mom, though. Why I just be chilling. Don't call me. You're not even yourself right now, bro. Hey, oh, I ain't worried about that. <laughs> Later, officers informed Harold's family that the contraband tested positive. Concerned for their mother's safety, they agreed his actions warranted incarceration. He still send a threat. He don't. He say he don't love us. You know that. I came from the hospital. Linda walked in the door. He had the music going. He said, "What? What that positive for?" You said that. That's the thing that I did in my car. We'll just do that. All right. Yeah, right, wait, he, wait. he's gonna. Yeah, we're done. We're on taking to jail for possession of. And that's what what is it? Possession. Right. We think it's either. Or, but he it tested positive for. But there's some that there's some chemicals in the that test the same. So. Okay. So how long will he be when in he custody? get out? Well, he'll, I'm not, I'm about him. He'll, have, uh, he'll be in there until somebody bonds him out. If nobody bonds him out, then he'll stay he'll have until close he's to a six thousand dollar bond. Okay. Good. I'm not about to. Right. Yeah. She, can, she can get a restraining order on him, right? Oh, she can, yeah. Um, I'm not bothering him out. Because he's talking about he don't care. Well, I just want to know the timing because I'm moving out of UC. That's my brother, but at this point, he don't he don't know who we are. He, he, just, he, he, love us. he just told us that so, to our face. So. You could also uh, go to the courthouse and mm -hmm. tell the judge, hey, he's in custody right now. He's in the jail. Okay. And get like a mar uh, uh, ex parte put on him. Which is a Marchman Act where he has to seek, you know, seek counseling. Okay. So if you can go to the judge and say, you know what, I'm his sister. He doesn't recognize me. What on he's his so, court date or? 
Just no, you can go up there tell tomorrow. My mom can do it. I, don't, I can give Les two f he needs to stay in custody as long yeah, as, as, long as nobody bonds him out. He'll help. stay in there until his court date comes oh, up. So he, you know, he'll, he'll be in there with his daddy. His daddy in there too. Yeah, well, he'll be in there until Doing either. the same stuff. Yeah. All right, y'all have a good one. His siblings echoed their mother's sentiments, agreeing that legal intervention was essential to address his dependency and to get treatment for his mental health. Well, it's going to be probably more of a Marchman Act, Act like Marchman I said, yeah. which is similar, but it's it's in reference to, you know. One is for, uh, for alcohol. One is for like a mental illness and the other one's for, for alcohol. Substance. Yeah, yeah you, you can tell the judge that he's in custody right now at the Lake County Jail mm -hmm. and like, um, his, your sister said he doesn't even recognize her, so he you can uh, tell the judge that he's so far out, you know, that he doesn't recognize his family members. You know, he's acting acting all crazy. I don't know what he normally acts we like. Out, when like he, I said, we were out here twice last night. Yeah, because he's hearing things that aren't there. So um, I don't know what he's like. like he's got a history when of doing he's that. normal. Well, so I don't know where his baseline is. Like a normal day for him. A normal day for him is. Like how I'm right now, regular, yeah. like how you are. So, yeah, so uh, you can you can tell the judge his normal baseline day when he's not strung out that he's a decent person, he doesn't cause any issues, you know, all that stuff. And now, you know, and is he family oriented and all that stuff when he's normal? So you can tell tell the judge, you know, he's very family oriented, but now he doesn't know where he's, who we are. He said something about wishing she was better, you know. He's Something like that to her about her being or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, he said he so, didn't know who she is. Who yeah. Are you being my mama? Y'all put his money in his custody because she's not putting money in his custody. Well, how about you? Um, just go hand it to the. That's why you keep getting with the girls right there. When you broke it. Because he was working with me doing good. And so he started just. Sorry, here's all his money. I just. That's fine. I was just going to say. Give it to her? Yeah, he said, yeah. yeah. She said put it on his book. She's not putting on her book. You got a bag? Yeah, I do. Let me say if you don't, I got one. Oh, one, 20, 40. Yes, I'm, 60. I got a bag. I'm putting it on his book. Yes, ma'am. No, it goes to commissary. 75, 76. 176 bucks, it looks like. 176? That's what it looks like. You might need to recount it. Okay, I'll recount it out of jail. Kind of get a copy of uh, what is it like? Uh, however many involvements we have with him, yeah. just get the case numbers and say this is how many times the police officer had to respond due to him acting, you know, acting foolish or whatever the case may be. The officers and Harold's family discussed the implications of the arrest and potential legal remedies. They also emphasized the role of professional intervention in helping him rebuild his life post incarceration and after treatment. <laughs> So used to being incarcerated, he can't help. Just make sure I'm not a good in his commissary. I just thought about it. Yeah, it will. So what will happen? Well, I I will get. I'll count that up. I'll put the amount on it. I'll give it to a deputy at the jail. The deputy's going to count it and confirm that's what I gave him. And then it's going to go into a machine that's going to go into an account that's associated with him. Let him know. So. They, they both bad. But the thing is, it tested positive. Tested positive for. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it's. Yeah. Fentanyl. Fentanyl is Killing everybody. Yeah. Well, that's what it's, it's, it's mixed like, with everything. Uh, that's what's going on. It's like, but way stronger. I just had so it's a, a combination of everything. That's that's why that's why buying this stuff nowadays off the street is so dangerous because you don't know what's in it. So they're mixing stuff like that. You know, it's crazy. So that test of positive. Like that. Have a hard time arresting. What's that? Did y'all have a hard time? I wasn't here. Uh, apparently, he, apparently, yeah, because don't take no. Did he, no did he fight with y'all at all? They said, yeah. oh, so he started running. Opiate. When he ran, we oh, both threw our. Give it on the stop. Okay. They give it in doses of four micrograms. He must been. He been before. He was about to. He was about to. Don't say me. No, has he been before? No, I mean, I don't. So he been enough trouble. Well, I was about to say he probably knows what that feels like, and he stopped. Should have put it to the. <laughs> well, if he would have kept going, he would have right, got it. I bet it. he wouldn't have had no more. Yeah. <laughs> well, Should I tell him bye? Uh, all right, I'm going to get his ass off. I'm just getting my drink off. You, you want to tell him bye? No, I'm good. We can tell you bye. See you later. That's better. We love you. I can't see. If we didn't love you, we wouldn't want We want. you going to. We know you had no papers last time. We don't want to see you go to jail. We want to see you do better. You and Kaya. 
so get better. Stop doing Harold was taken into custody by the Lake County Sheriff's Office and charged with five counts, including resisting officers, tampering with evidence, and possession of contraband. His bail was set at $6,000. If you were the parent of one of these unruly kids, how would you handle it? Share your thoughts in the comments. And stay right here to keep watching another body cam bust video.